So, not a lot of new anime this week, right? I think I mentioned this would happen. Although this isn't the only box that arrived, this is the only one I'm opening up here because the other one had, um, uh, well, I'll talk about that later. First of all, we have Needless Collection 1. This is from Sentai Filmworks, so, oh look, it has English dub. Usually a lot of um, Sentai Filmworks stuff has been subtitled, so they must um, want to dub for that one. And uh, this would be the intriguing new release for the week, uh, Summer Wars. And on the inside, oh that's very interesting. So it looks like the outside case is the digital world stuff, and the inside case is the real world or something. That's pretty cool. I did order other stuff, of course. Like I mentioned, um, Chrome Shield Regios. I had part two last week, which was DVDs three and four, and uh, part one arrived um, Friday, like I predicted it would. Let's see. Whoa, shoot. Ah, sorry about that. Anyways, um... We got the first disc. Huh. Front and back is worthwhile to look at. Second disc, and that's part one. And then, of course, there was part two. It looked like I never looked at the back of them. This one actually has some stuff worth peeking at. And, of course, just the paper that was attached to the back of this. I never throw those away. Uh, I think I also mentioned... That I bought a uh, Dot Hack Sign Limited Edition or Platinum Edition of um, DVD 6 because if you, it came with two discs. The Dot Hack Sign Bonus Disc, which has Dot Hack Unison. And as far as I can tell, this is the only disc that it was officially released on. This is the only thing it was officially released on. Now, I actually got a. Uh, the other thing I got was a Blu-ray player because I finally went and bought a Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn Volumes 1 and 2. Uh, and that was mostly because of a different... Oh, a, it's close to midnight. Uh, this is uh, The Garden of Sinners. I don't know what the Japanese title was anymore. This was an import from Japan. Japan shares the same region as the U.S., so there's no risk there. As you can see, this is felt or something. So we've got two things in here. A red thing down here. This red thing contains a bunch of... Um, various pictures related to the anime. It's pretty cool. And the anime itself is in this first one. The reason this Japanese release is noteworthy is because um, it's English subtitled. So, there's all seven movies, and over here we've got a bonus disc. Now, one problem is that if you look up information online about the names of the movies, like this calls the first movie Thanatos, and I believe this is the second movie... And nothing heart. So basically, that's on the in, that's on the side where it says the Garden of Sinners. But the Japanese text on the right is uh, the original Japanese title. So it's kind of really hard to predict which one is which. I had to look up and make sure it was actually going top left to right to bottom left to right because you know how. In manga, the panels go kind of the other way. Um, I watched the first movie just so that I can guarantee that the subtitles are pretty good quality. I mean, because there is another famous Japanese release where the subtitling was done kind of in-house, I guess. And that was Zero Wing, and that one was famously bad. Now, I'm sure there's been plenty of other stuff, but I figured it would be good to watch this and check out and make sure kind of noteworthy it came with 
this. This seems to be, as far as I can tell, it's an advertisement for a CD coming out on March 2nd in Japan, I guess. Uh, oh, since people have asked, this one I did order directly through Amazon.co.jp. And they actually handle interna international shipping pretty well. If you've ever, ever wondered, try checking it out. If you can find the English help, it actually talks about shipping internationally. The kind of things they can do, etc. It only cost $25, which considering it traveled um, halfway across the world, that's kind of amazing. And the more amazing thing is that once it shipped, it only took like a day or two to get here. It like shipped on the 14th. In Japan and arrived on the 15th here so that's close to two days ish I guess anyways that's this week's releases unfortunately well this week was not too bad because of the addition of um, a couple of mop-ups from that I mentioned last week and uh, blu-ray stuff next week I can't really guarantee will be that spectacular um, because I did, I did move forward with um, buying the Mesa Nikoku stuff, even though I dropped seven hundred dollars on all of that Blu-ray stuff. Mostly because this thing costs like four hundred and eighty, and only twenty-five of that was shipping. But um, <clears throat> yeah, next week's releases it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of them. I may be able to order that, assuming that it's in. Basically, our home's Fox Deity box at 2 Premium Edition should be coming out. And since that's an NIS release, uh, that, that means I should probably order it from the right stuff ASAP so that it may actually be here next week up by Wednesday. Here's open. Unless the release is delayed for some reason. That would be unfortunate. Um, and I continued forward with my plan to buy my Mason Ikoku box set 8. Which, of course, cost nearly as much as uh, this complete series that's available on eBay right now for um, only $1,000. If you have $1,000, you can get all eight box sets, somebody's personal collection. Most of the stuff, or like, it seemed like maybe half the stuff had been unopened. So that looks pretty good. A question you may be asking is why I didn't get it. And the answer is because, on top of buying um, this, I'm, I basically don't have a lot of financial freedom right now. Since March is too important a month to be spending money frivolously, frivolously here, I do need to save up money. And as it is right now, I'm basically going to be in a situation where I'll probably be okay since the releases don't look too complicated. But I still need to make sure I have enough to go grocery shopping and whatever. So if you happen to have that, then uh, that extra thousand dollars and need May Sunday Coco complete. That would actually be a pretty good deal, especially since there's still like one for five hundred dollars that I need to pick up. So eight hundred plus five hundred, you know that it's a no-brainer. It's cheaper to get the thousand-dollar one. Although maybe you can bid. Bidding starts at eight hundred and fifty dollars, but it might work. The reason I didn't get it is because in order to have the sort of money I would want to spend on that, that extra couple hundred, I would have to wait another fifteen days, and this auction ends in three days. So. Maybe he'll put it back up. Maybe he won't. It really won't matter to me because I've already started going down a path that uh, there's no sense in turning back from at this point, right? So, anyways, uh, another thing worth talking about is um, you may be wondering, now that I've started collecting Blu-ray stuff, where I'm going to go from here? The answer is I don't really plan to go anywhere. Um, if I... Uh, the Blu-ray stuff I've seen thus far has not been of superior enough quantity for me to say, okay, I'll buy both DVD and Blu-ray. Because that detracts from my original quest to collect all anime DVDs. Region 1 DVD specifically, although I guess if we're now including Region A Blu-ray, who knows what other stuff I may end up picking up. I don't know. All I know is... <clears throat> The plan is basically, now that I've got Blu-ray stuff, I'm pretty much only going to buy stuff that comes out only on Blu-ray, unless I think there's a really good reason to seek out a high-quality um, item. 
hand, I'm not quite sure that even something like Summer Wars counts. I'll probably watch Summer Wars and have more to think about in that regard. So, if I forget to talk about that next week, because uh, I assume I'll watch Summer Wars this week, be sure to bring it up and I'll um, definitely comment about it in the comments. Otherwise, that's pretty much the week, I guess. So, um, I'll see you all next week.